For this activity, I would like you to focus on the things that we covered during the lesson. And so for this lesson, that means selections and masks. Your goal for this activity is to create a collage that really tells the class about who you are as a person. And to do that, I would like you to use as many of the selections and masks procedures or steps that we followed during the lesson. I'm quickly going to show you how I set up my file. You can set up your file however you want, but what I would recommend is that you think about what you want to do first and then start to format your images and put them into your file. And so quickly I just want to show you that I created a background layer. The background layer can be a color and a benefit of it being a color is if you start to fade your layers using layer masks, it will show through to a color and not white. I chose white for mine. And then I decided that I wanted to block in photographs and I have six photographs for the back of my document and I kind of put them in a grid like pattern but I made sure they overlapped in some way so as I started to blend them together using layer masks I could fade one image into another I also decided that I didn't really care what the back six images look like as long as they faded because they were going to be more of a collage and then I was going to put actual images with the background removed in front so the background would be more like a background image and then I would have foreground elements. And so you can see as I add one image on top of another I've faded one cat into another on the left hand side of the screen here. And you can see if you look closely at my layer mask that any area I wanted to disappear I painted with black on the layer mask. And one tip that I would recommend is that when you're painting with black on your layer mask always make sure your opacity is not 100%. If it's lower, in my case 25%, I would have to make four brush strokes in order for the entire image to disappear. And so I can show you that up here. If I make one, two, three, four brush strokes, I'm still not disappearing the image all the way. And so it allows you to kind of slowly remove color from the image.